Well, I'm back on my way to printing uh, Mendel pieces. We got a black vertex, some clips. I don't think I had anything else in here. Oh yeah, and the spacer. Um, went ahead and decided to go for some redundancy. I'm printing a French Schroeder right now. Uh, hadn't really pointed this one out. I modified my bed I'm using, I don't know if you can see this, a thicker sheet of acrylic than most people use. Um, just that allows me to use countersink screws. Let's see how flat that is. Countersink screws, um, and it allowed me to give about a half inch all the way around the edge of the maker box. This really helps with whenever you're printing larger pieces so you don't have to be quite so meticulous about staying away from the edges. Um, also, I modified or I changed my skin forge settings to make the carve a little bigger. Followed the new skin forge guide on um, MakerBot Wiki. Worked really good. Um, as you can see, I'm not dragging my nozzle any. Wonderful. Um, let's see what else. Oh, last video said I managed to shatter my um, plastruder into many pieces. Well, thanks to the wonders of acrylic or to. Um, This fun stuff, epoxy. I have epoxied and puttied it back together. Um, it should hold out, but it'll never come apart again. So that's the reason I'm printing the Prince Schroeder. Uh, I have a replacement Prince Schroeder or Class Schroeder coming in from Maker Gear, and as soon as they have a heated build plate, I'll be getting one of those. But luckily, I'm back on the Mendel bandwagon, going as fast as I can. Anyway, uh, see you next week. Bye.